welcome back. What is a ticking stick? Well, I think the best explanation is a demonstration. And to do that, we gotta go up to my kitchen. I'm cutting a piece of concrete board down here in my closet so I can run the tile in. It's a little bit of a weird shape, and I'm not sure if the corners are quite square. So this is what a ticking stick can do for me. I got a piece of paper taped down, smaller than the overall size. I take the ticking stick, put the tip right in the corner, and then just trace the outline. Repeat the process, just moving around the shape. I mark this inside corner, this outside corner, and now this corner. And now I'm ready to go back down to the shop to mark this out on the concrete board. I think I'll just take the stairs this time. Alright, back down here in the shop, I have the piece of paper taped onto the concrete board. I lined up one corner, and now I just need to put the ticking stick in its outline, and then mark a dot at the tip of the stick. Repeating this process for each of the outlines. Once you've gone around all the outlines, just line up two tick marks and connect the dots. This is a pretty basic use of the ticking stick. You can do shapes that are a lot more intricate and a lot more complicated. Um, I just felt like doing this instead of taking measurements on a tape. And if your walls are out of square, which I think mine are a little bit, those numbers aren't going to be as useful as you would like. Um, now, if your walls aren't even straight, if they have a curve to them, you just need to make more tick marks on your paper. Well, that's a ticking stick. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want to watch me cut out this shape, come back next week. Have a great week, and as always, get out there and make some sawdust.